Welcome everybody to the Confraternity Sunday. And we are just so jazzed to have Father Roger Vandenacker back with us. It's been a number of weeks and we get a sense that, uh, yeah, he's really ready to go and share with us some really interesting things today. So thank you for joining us today, Father Roger. Thank you everybody for joining us as well. And without further ado, we'll turn it over to you right away, Father Roger, go ahead. Yes, well, good afternoon, everyone. Great to be back with you. I'm all prayed up. I got back a week ago from a, uh, a preached retreat at the Carmel of St. Joseph in St. Agatha, Ontario, near Waterloo, a community of Carmelite, cloistered Carmelite nuns. I think there's like 16 of them. Actually, I know the community quite well. I've done many of personal retreats there and even some vacation time. They have a hermitage they call it although it's it's a modern 60 by 15 mobile home <laughs> so anyways i was staying there and um it was just really nice delightful to be with the sisters um I, like i said i know them personally very well but they invited me last winter when i was on my personal retreat to preach their retreat this year they have an annual preached retreat so i've never done that before even though i've been going there for many years and uh, it was a great, great experience. Um, quite a bit of work, actually. I was preaching two conferences a day, plus celebrating mass, plus having evening adoration. And then on top of that, I was, you know, the sisters would book individual spiritual direction with me during the week. So, um, but it was delightful. It was just a, all it was spiritually very refreshing, if, if physically a little tiring. A few of the days were quite hot and they don't have uh, any central air, although I had some in my... Um, in my hermitage, but uh, but still just very anointed, very blessed. Um, they're great prayerful women. Although let me tell you, one of the things I've learned over the years, you know, we're all very human. <laughs> we all have our human, you know, humanity, which is a, a fallen humanity, a, a wounded humanity. And so I think it, it's just encouraging. Um, you know, sometimes I think we can get a little bit discouraged maybe with our growth in holiness or our growth in the spiritual life and think that, oh gosh, I don't feel I'm making a lot of progress or I keep struggling sin in certain areas of my life. And, you know, I'm not as holy as all these other people out there. And we, we kind of think there's all these very, very holy people out there <laughs> like Carmelite nuns. Well, let me reassure you, they're very prayerful and they're good women, but they are human too. And they, you know, they have their struggles and they, they have their own issues, but, but the good news is God loves us all. And he, he, we're, we're all a work in progress. We're all striving for holiness and, um, you know, are assuming we're all striving for holiness. I don't think you'd be joining the Marian devotional movement if you didn't have that basic desire. So be encouraged, be encouraged that the Lord loves you right now, right where you're at. And don't let the devil tempt you. And by the way, the more spiritual reading I do, I find it's one of the most common ways the devil wants to tempt us is to discouragement or doubts or despair about about our own faith or about our own holiness because we, we, we think we're not making a lot of progress or we think we're not as holy as we should be or as holy as other people are or whatever. The fact is none of us are as holy as we should be or could be, but you know the Lord still loves us. And again, as long as we are showing good will and as long as we are trying you know, daily renewing our consecration, daily invoking the Holy Spirit, daily calling upon Our Lady, St. Joseph, the saints, St. Michael, you know, God the Father, like Jesus, of course, Jesus. The more we are sincerely, you know, seeking the Lord, that's all that God asks. And remember again, he is well pleased with us. We are his beloved sons and daughters. It has nothing to do with our performance. Again, he's pleased with us because he's created us in his own image and likeness. And of course, God does not, he's not pleased with sin and, 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 and disobedience. But in so far as we are sincerely striving, and when we do fall, we repent and we pick ourselves back up, 
that's all the Lord asks for. So again, um, you know, uh, being with these, these beautiful sisters, very human, but very, again, they've given their whole life to living for the Lord. And uh, some of them have been in the Carmel for over 60 years. <laughs> Others are more recent. Um, and, uh, but, but they're, they, they could tell that they're obviously, this is their call and they're committed to it and they're seeking the Lord. And I was preaching basically on the spirituality of St. Therese of Lisieux, uh, from my favorite book. I re highly recommend it. If there's one book you haven't, if you haven't read this book yet, it's my favorite book of all time. And I've read a lot of books. <laughs> I believe in love. Do you? <laughs> I believe in love. It's by Father Jean Delbay. He was a French priest from France, and he wrote this book. It's actually a series of 10 conferences, retreat talks that he gave uh, way back in the 1960s in French, and it was eventually translated and published in English in the 1970s and republished by Sophia uh, press uh, just in the last 20 years or so. I came across it about 20 years ago at a time in my life when I too was struggling with a certain amount of discouragement and disillusionment and doubts, you know, because of different circumstances in my life. But the Lord gave me this book and this priest basically has such a beautiful um, understanding of the spirituality of St. Therese. And the book itself is about it's at least 50% quotes directly from St. Therese's writings and letters and all of that. So just a beautiful book. And, and it's interesting. I, I wondered, I said, if I'm going to give this to the sisters, I wonder if they're going to find this all old material because they know it so well, but they, they, they appreciate it very much. And I found, I've probably read the book at least five times. Um, and since I first read it around 2003, and it's, it's always new, very simple concepts, but very profound spirituality of St. Therese's little way of spiritual childhood, which is basically humble confidence in God and um, unshakable confidence in God. In other words, humble meaning that we know we're weak. We know we're sinful. We, we know we can't do it. But then having unshakable confidence in the goodness of our Father, our Father loves us. Our Father loves us. Jesus came to reveal the love of the Father and to show us that love. He's the, he's the face of the Father in human form. And the Father just holds us close to his heart. In fact, the definition of holiness, I quoted it before, but let me say it again, from St. Therese's writings. It was in a one of her letters that I've memorized. I think it's the best definition of holiness I've ever heard. Holiness is this. Holiness is a disposition of the heart that keeps us small and humble in the arms of God, aware of our weaknesses, yet boldly confident in the goodness of our Father. <laughs> you see, and you see the, 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 the balance there, right? Aware of our weaknesses, but boldly confident in the goodness of our Father, and we know we are in the arms of God the Father. He is holding us right now. Do you know that? He's holding you right now in his arms of love. He's holding you close to his bosom. You are loved. You are loved. And never doubt that. Have that St. Therese's, you know, bold confidence. Uh, you know, that's the kind of confidence we are to have with God. Not in ourselves. The confidence is not in ourselves. Oh, I'm good. I'm strong. I can do it. No, no. Humble confidence. I can't do anything. I am nothing. I am weak. I'm sinful. But my father loves me. And he's going to give me everything I need. And that's the way to spiritual growth. That's the way to holiness. That's what allows the Holy Spirit to more and more permeate our hearts to transform us. It's the work of God. We don't make ourselves holy. We just try to dispose ourselves to keep ourselves in that disposition and openness to the Holy Spirit. And he's the one who will then transform us slowly, but surely. And it's like that seed, you know, Jesus said in one of the parables, like, you know, the seed, you sow it, the sower sows the seed, 
And if you stand there looking at it, you don't see much happening, right? But slowly over time, mysteriously, it grows. But it's the growth is not something that if you focus on, you're going to necessarily see. But over time, the growth, be confident the growth will happen. The fruit of the spirit will be born because God has made us in his image. He saved us through Jesus. He's given us his spirit. He's given us our blessed mother and he will accomplish the good work in us. St. Paul says that, you know, um, that God who has begun this good work in, in you will bring it to perfection. Always believe that. All you, all he asks for is good intention, good resolution, and of course, renew daily. But as long as we're, we're, we are striving with our hearts to seek the Lord and his kingdom, his righteousness, everything else we need will be given to us. Now that includes the temporal goods, but also the spiritual goods. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and everything else will be given to you besides. But remember, you must remain little. That's what humble confidence is. Uh, we're just little, little children, but God loves us. And he said, um, Jesus said, unless you become like a little child, you ain't coming in here. <laughs> you know, the doorway to heaven is very, very low. <laughs> you must be little. You must be small to get in. But isn't that good news? Isn't that cause for rejoicing? And finally, then, just to end with uh, this uh, consecration to God, the Father coming up that Father Tim's going to introduce and the octave of the consecration prayer strongly encourage you to make a consecration to God, our Father, because really, that's the beginning and end of the spiritual life is knowing God, our Father. That's our baptismal dignity. We are the beloved sons and daughters of God, right? That's our dignity. That's what Jesus came to make possible. Through, it's only through Christ that we become his children, but he's made it possible and he's come to reveal that to us. He's come to lead us to the Father, even our Blessed Mother. Again, it's all about ultimately the Father, his kingdom, the Father's house, and, and knowing God as a loving Father. And so this consecration is a beautiful way to prepare yourself for a deeper relationship to the Father. I'll leave it at that. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We might ask you to just comment on St. Joseph as well. You probably have something you might oh, share. Yeah, well, that's right. Oh, I was going to say, I was saying just before we came live, um, my devotion to St. Joseph is really growing. Started last year when I read Father Don Calloway's book on consecration to St. Joseph. And I did the consecration. And then this year of St. Joseph, I've been pressing in, but I, I guess it was staying at the Carmel of St. Joseph <laughs> two weeks ago um, or a week ago. It was, you know, they're devoted to St. Joseph there. And I just felt a powerful pull, even a deeper devotion to St. Joseph. And I'll just share with you something personally. Like I, we all pray our rosaries. You know, we probably have little prayers we say before or after whatever. And, uh, I've got some little additions that I do, you know, based on uh, the flame of love devotion. You know, I do the addition in the Hail Mary when I pray privately, but I've just added a new addition. <laughs> Sometimes devotional people have to be careful because we keep adding and adding and adding more and more prayers, you know, but uh, at the end of the rosary, besides the Fatima prayer, I always say, oh, Mary, conceive without sin, pray for us, have recourse to thee, you know, from the miraculous medal prayer. But now my new addition at the end of each decade, when I do it privately, because I think we have to be careful about imposing this on others, I just started adding this in the last uh, week since I've been at uh, the Carmel there. At the end of the, that prayer of the miraculous medal, I also say, oh, beloved St. Joseph, be my spiritual father, watch over me and pray for me always. And again, he's such a beautiful so I think for years and years, because I had a pretty close relationship to God the Father, I didn't feel as drawn to St. Joseph. Um, but now I realize there's no, it's no, you know, the one kind of amplifies the other. But St. Joseph is very real. He was a real human being. He's not God the Father, but he's a beautiful spiritual father 
who is a very a beautiful icon of God the Father. And uh, oh yeah, by the way, uh, one of the sisters at the Carmel gave me a book and I'm still reading it. The Revelations of the Life of St. Joseph given to Mother Baj, B-A-I-J. I wouldn't be surprised if if Angelina knows all about it, she knows a lot about these. She was a mother abbess uh, in Italy in the um, 1700s, I believe, if not the 1600s. And she received the whole life of our Lord Jesus Christ, but also the life of St. Joseph through private revelation. And it was translated in English uh, just really in the last 50 years or so, 40 or 50 years. And um, it's, it's beautiful. It's very, very edifying uh, about the life of St. Joseph. It really gives you a lot of uh, insight into just how holy this man was. I mean, next to the Blessed Mother, there is no saint that can compare to St. Joseph. Even though our Blessed Mother is in a realm all her own, uh, St. Joseph is very powerful. And his role today is, is on the rise, you know, beginning 150 years ago with him being declared the patron of the Universal Church. And we have in Canada, you know, St. Joseph's Oratory, powerful. But um, if you deepen your devotion to St. Joseph, you're on the right track. <laughs> I tell you, it won't do you any harm for sure. And I just see it, uh, the fruit of it being born in my own heart and life too. Amen. Thank you, Father Roger. You've touched on uh, just some wonderful facets of, of what we need to hear today in order to prepare. Uh, just so everybody is prepared, as we share the Shrine Cam, the Blessed Sacrament is exposed. So I just want to bring that to your attention as we also invite the Queen of Mary now to begin uh, us in song for our time of prayer together today. Gentle woman, quiet light, morning star, so strong and bright, gentle mother, peaceful dove, teach us wisdom, teach us love, you are chosen. chosen for the Son. You were chosen from the women and for women shining one. Gentle woman, quiet light, morning star,
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For the intentions of our Holy Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, ave, ave Maria, ave, ave, ave Maria. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of our Lord into heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our us. sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, ave. Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, ave, ave Maria, ave. fourth glorious mystery is the assumption of Mary into heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world of God, Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, ave, ave Maria, ave, ave, ave Maria. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of Mary, is queen of heaven and earth, angels and saints. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, ave, ave Maria, ave. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. 
and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary, the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through this same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary. Pray for us. Remember Joseph, O most chaste spouse of the Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we come to you, our spiritual father, asking for your protection and assistance. O foster father of, and guardian of the Redeemer, despise not our petitions, but in your goodness, hear and answer us. Amen. The Divine Mercy Chaplet. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls and an ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus is a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus is a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 
have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. O God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your mercy, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. St. Faustina. Pray for us. St. John Paul the Great. Pray for us. All you holy angels and saints. Pray for us. And may the divine assistance remain always with us. And may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you.
That was just an awesome time of prayer and, and just the perfect talk, Father Roger, as we head into um, the consecration octave. And of course, there's been a number of people that have been also doing the 33 days uh, to greater glory and, and uh, leading to the consecration. So that video, yeah, we're going to actually uh, definitely spread that far and wide because that was very inspired. Thank you so much. So Father Roger, just a reminder that when the live stream ends this time, you don't pop off, you stay on so people can say thank you to you for their for your talk. Because oh. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget to tell you that. I always right. say bye to everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, to, just for a quick thank you. Sure, uh, sure. <laughs> great. And uh, so we've got 74 participants and it's a, a wonderful giveaway. It's a birthday mass card from the Monastery of Mount Carmel Society oh. of little flower at, oh. from Niagara Falls oh. and donated by Arlene Bla, Blay. So you can pick a number between one and 73, Father. I turned 60 this year, so let it be 60. Wow, <laughs> perfect. Congratulations on your 60th birthday. I know somebody else that just turned 60 recently. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Okay, so. <laughs> Congratulations. That's right, Dennis. Was it about a week ago or? Yeah, it was. So we're neck and neck here <laughs> in more ways than one, I'm sure. That's great. <laughs> so we've got a, we had a really major announcement to make. Um, and this we know is prayerfully ordained because launching July 22nd, and what special feast day is that? St. Mary Magdalene. So St. Mary Magdalene, Yay! why would we be launching something on that day? Well, because of course, Cap de la Madeleine is named after that saint. So very, very special. Now, many, many people know that what really propelled the cape through many of, of the years as it was really gaining steam over the decades was perpetual adoration, 24-7 perpetual adoration. So June 22nd, we are going to be launching online perpetual adoration, meaning that we are going to ask for volunteers to submit when you would do a holy hour or holy hours. Why? For the specific intention for the renewal of the confraternity of the Most Holy Rosary throughout the world. So we know we're already, uh, you know, Father Roger alluded to it, you know, temptations, attacks, we can expect more of that from the evil one, you know, as the confraternity builds and we want to be shored up with prayer. It doesn't matter whether you go to your favorite uh, shrine cam for adoration for an hour, it won't matter if you go physically. The point is our the Lord knows our hearts, our lady knows our hearts, and we need people, all of us just coming and just spending hours before the Blessed Sacrament or the Tabernacle in order to really uh, facilitate this renewal process. All of us here have seen how much Our Lady is doing and has done even over these past few months. Um, I mean, I don't know how many films have ever had a 40-day novena praying for the editing, writing, and production of the film. I can tell you tomorrow, Angelina and I are getting to see the very first rough cut of the film. We're really excited about that. Of course, it's being launched October 7th. And we know with that is going to come a lot of opportunity for the confraternity to continue to grow and grow and grow. So, so that we're going to be launching, as I say, on July 22nd, very, very important initiative to really shore up the spark of renewal for the confraternity worldwide. Just amazing things are taking place in that arena. So with that, Lorena, I'll ask with uh, who won today? Today's winner is Pat Vigo. Congratulations. Pat Vigo. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, Wonderful. Very special. Very special. What a great gift. It is. Amazing gift. And the other thing we want to, again, remind everybody is you probably saw we picked the feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel to release the rosary. The official confraternity rosary is available for pre-order. Many of you have already started to pre-order it. 
And what an amazing sacramental rosary to be able to pray with. Uh, as Angelina mentioned, uh, I think last time we were together or a couple of times ago, there's going to be a, a patented locket with actually a piece of rose petal that was blessed when the film was being uh, produced on the confraternity altar. So that's really cool. And then a piece of cloth that has touched the miraculous statue, been blessed by Bishop Tremblay, touched holy relics, and a fragment of a St. Michael stone, because St. Michael is a big part of what's going on here. Can you see how Our Lady is just bringing together everything, every piece that's necessary in order to see this wonderful renewer of the confraternity uh, become successful? And we're going to see if we can get even more added to that with this incredible rosary. Oh, yes. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. Stay tuned for that. We'll be speaking to Father Roger about that yes. one. Okay, there we go. <laughs> So with that, we just want to thank you, everybody, for joining us today. God bless you. And uh, we'll ask Father Roger maybe for a final blessing before we go off the live stream part of it. So just remember what uh, Dennis said. Everyone's going to do a holy hour. You can do it online or in person on July 22nd, praying for, for this project. And remember, too, the Chaplet of St. Michael. I try to pray it every day not don't quite necessarily get it in every single day but that's a powerful source of protection to an intercession so the chapel of saint michael don't forget that amen you guys amen. still doing that on tuesdays online or what yes, oh, yes we're still doing that on tuesdays but thank you you just reminded me that i obviously didn't explain this right yeah. we're beginning june july 22nd but it's going to keep going this doesn't end this oh, is the beginning okay. Because let's remember, we're going for multi-year all the way to 2025 for the Confraternity Congress. What happened at the Cape, it was every day, every day, every month, every year, years and years and years. And that's why that place prospered. That's why there was so many miracles. That's why there was so many conversions. And we, you know, it's been very strong on our hearts that we need that. We need perpetual adoration. And what better team to do it than the intercessor family? And I think the numbers are we need 150 some odd to fill all the hours. And because we have all kinds of time zones that tune in, you know, we should be able to fill this up. So Lynn Ellen will be uh, spearheading this. The, you'll see the email is prayer at themdm.org. More information to come, but we did want to announce it on Rosary Confraternity Sunday that that is beginning July 22nd. Thank you, Father Roger, for uh, alliterating that so I could expand. Now yeah. we'll ask you for your uh, final blessing. Yeah, I was just going to say, have you been already promoting, or is it too soon yet, the actual pilgrimage on October 7th, you know, all of that? Have you been telling people to show up at the Cape? I'm going to yeah. be there. Yeah. <laughs> People the, are already the, booking their rooms, Father. Yeah. Rob. I booked, my, I booked, I got my room booked. Oh, yeah. I got it booked. And uh, so, anyways, that's for the debut screening, right? A Feast of the Holy Rosary. The, the, and again, and did you mention about Ottawa on the 9th? Too, or oh, why, don't you, why don't you mention Ottawa on the 9th? I'm going to spotlight you for that. Yeah. One. Okay. So, on Ottawa on the 9th, uh, we're having a special mass. Well, there'll be events taking place at Blessed Sacrament, I guess, in the daytime. But then at 6.30 p.m., we're having the Ottawa debut screening right at the big screen in the church. It'll be dark by after the Mass. There's a Mass at 6.30 with the debut screening in Ottawa. But also the Mass is going to be a special Mass in honor of the 10th anniversary of the death of our founder, Father Bob. And um, because he would have died earlier that week on the uh, 6th so we're celebrating on saturday Three bishops there the archbishop of ottawa bishop scott mckaig is our own brother bishop in the command of the cross is going to be preaching the homily archbishop Danfus will be um the main celebrant and then bishop tremblay from from capital madeleine and uh trois rivieres is also going to be in attendance uh, and uh, I'm sure many Companions of the Cross priests as well. And it's going to be just, I think, a beautiful mass and a beautiful screening of the, of the film uh, in the church there on, that's October the 9th. I've got that right. Yeah, Saturday's the 9th. And uh, we're in the Cape on the 7th, which is Thursday, right? I guess. Right on. You got yeah. it. Okay. And I think it was Father Bob's birthday yesterday would have been his birthday, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think it was on... Yeah, that's right. Saturday. Yeah, that's right. It was his, not, would have been his 92nd birthday. So I'm sure he's praying for us and 
Amen. And we're still hoping and praying that at some point his cause for canonization will be opened officially. It hasn't been opened yet, but that's in the Lord's hands. We, uh, we don't have anything to announce on that front yet. So keep that in prayer, though. That'll be uh, uh, something powerful once that, uh, if that happens, you know, of course, it's up to the Archbishop of Ottawa to make that final decision. And, and he's open to it. He's just waiting to line up a few things, I think. So it, uh, it's uh, being held up a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, well, the Lord be with you. With your with spirit. Your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Peace be with you. <laughs> Peace be with you and with your spirit. Thank Amen. you, Father Roger. And with that, we'll say bye to our online audience. Thank you for joining us today. God bless you. See you on uh, Prayer Power Tuesday. Bye for now. Bye. bye. <laughs>